it, uh, this question is the minimization question. It is mean z. Okay, and we will solve this by graphical method to obtain the optimal solution. So step one, as we have seen in the earlier problem, step one is always coordinates of constant lines. First constraint x1 plus x2 uh, converting in equality equal to 600. So to find x1, assume x2 as 0. So in that case, x1 will be 600. Same way to find x2, assume x1 as 0. So x2 will be 600. So coordinates are 600, 600. Second constraint x1 plus x2 assuming equality so equal to 300 again to find x1 assume x2 as 0 so x1 will be 300 to find x2 assume x1 as 0 so x2 will be also be 300 third constant 6x1 plus 2x2 equal to 1200. To find x1, assume x2 as 0. So 6x1 will be 1200. So 1200 divided by 6 is 200. So x1 will be 200. Now to find x2, assume x1 as 0. So 2x2 is 1200. Therefore 1200 divided by 2 is 600. So x2 will be 600. Okay, so these are the coordinates of constant lines. Now to find scale, take the highest coordinate out of this, divide by 10 as a thumb rule, highest coordinate is 600. So 600 by 10 is 60. So you should take a scale as a round figure. So take scale 1 is to 50. Okay, don't take a scale of 60, 1 is to 50 is the better scale. Now step 2, we draw the graph. Take graph paper, draw the axis. X1 and X2. On the top of the graph, write scale. Scale is 1 centimeter equal to 15 units. That is what we have selected. Okay. And then the highest coordinate is 600. So we need points up to 600. So plot points here. Each centimeter is 50 units. So 50, 100, 150, 200 and like that. So the highest point we need is up to 600. Same way on x axis, x1 axis. Each point is 50, so it is increment of 50 units. Okay, so when you write all the points, now we start with drawing the lines of the graph. So the first constraint line, for first constraint, x1 plus x2 less than equal to 600. These are the points x1 600. So x1 is 600. Here this point. If you want, you can give it names, name to coordinates. Suppose this is A, this is B. So A, this is point A, x1 equal to 600, and point B is x2 equal to 600. And join there. This is straight line. So this is the first coordinate, first line, first constraint line representing first constraint. In the second constraint line, x1, x2, x1 plus x2 less than equal to, uh, x1 plus x2 greater than equal to 300. So coordinates are x1, 300, x2, 300. So give name if you want. So let it be C and D. So point C, point C is here. x1 equal to 300. This is the origin O, 0, 0. 
So here point C is 300, x1 equal to 300, point D here x2 equal to 300 and you join point C and D. This is second constraint line and the third constraint line is this 6x1 plus 2x2 greater than equal to 1200 for that first coordinate is x1 200. So this is x1 200, so let this be E, x1 200, so this is point E, second is, second coordinate is x2 equal to 600, x2 equal to 600, which is already, we have given it a name B, so this is same as B, okay, so this is same as point B, so now we will join this B with E. Now three lines are complete. We had three constraints, one, two, three. So we should have three lines on the graph. We are having three lines on the graph. Now the next is we should write the equations of the lines on the graph. First constraint is was line A B and the equation is original equation x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 600. Second line is line C D is line CD and the equation is, I will write this equation below here. The equation of the line was x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 300. Okay, this is the equation of this line. And the third line was EB, joining EB and the equation of this line is, we will write here, here. The equation of this line is 6x1 plus 2x2 greater than or equal to 1200. So these are the equations of the three lines. Okay. Now we have to apply the rule of feasible region. Now we want to find the feasible region and for feasible region our rule is the region if the constraint is less than region is inside the line and if the constraint is greater than the region is outside the line. Okay, so we should always follow this principle that if the constraint is less than or equal to, the region should be inside the line. If the constraint is greater than or equal to, the region should be outside the line. Now we start from first line, line AB. Okay, we have one more intersection point here. So we can give it a name. We have up to E we have given, so we can give it name F. Okay, now we can start with the region. First constraint, sign is less than, so the region should be inside the line. It means whatever is outside the line, that part we should cancel. So this entire outside part will cancel. Okay, now the second constraint is this line CD, C to D, and D here the sign is greater than. So region should be outside. So region should be outside of this line. Okay. Now whatever is inside that will cancel because it is a greater than constraint. So region will go outside. So now you start from C and come from C to F. Region is outside, so this triangle will cancel. Then you come here F F to D. Again, the region is outside, so this inner, inner part will also cancel. So this cannot be the feasible region. Now, last line, the last line was E B, that is the third constraint. And the equation is 6x1 plus 2x2 greater than or equal to 200. So again, it is greater than. So it means the region has to be outside. So you start from B, region is outside, and you go to E, and here also the region is outside. Okay. So now you start cancellation. From B to F you come and as you come B to F the region is outside so this triangle will cancel and then from F we come to E and again the region is outside so this part is already cancelled. Now whatever remains is our solution. So now you can see this is what remains, this part. So B, B, F, C, A, this is the solution. So you can mark it, you can highlight it, this is our feasible region. Okay, so we write on the graph
feasible region is B. We start from B, F, E, oh sorry, no, sorry, not, not E, it is B, F, C, A. So it is B, then from B we come to F, F, then from F we are going in C, and from C we are going in A. So this is our visible region. Okay, B, F, C, A. And the all other thing inside as well as outside is cancelled. Okay. Our graph is ready. Our feasible region we have found. Now we will find the solution by corner point method. So the next step is okay. Step number one was finding coordinates. Step number two was finding drawing the graph. Step number three was finding the feasible region. And the last step, step number four, is corner point method or corner point table. B, then from B there is F, then from F there is C, and from C there is A. These are the four corner points. You have to find, you want to find the coordinates of each corner point, and from that we will find the value of Z, and then we will get our optimal solution. So we start from B. Now B is on the axis, so x1 is 0, and value of x2 is 600. We substitute this in objective function. Objective function is mean z equal to 50x1 plus 20x2. So z equal to 50 into x1, so 0, 50 into 0 is 0, plus 600 into 20. So that is 6 into 2 is 12 and 2 and 1, 3 zeros. So the value of z here is 12,000. Then, then we come to f. F, if you observe on the graph, if you do this projection of this point on x1, you will see it is 150. So here, x1 is 150. Same way, if you project this point on x2 axis, here also you will see that it is 150. So here, x2 is also 150. So 150, 150. Substituting in z, z is 150, 50 x1, so 50 into 150. So 15 into 5 is 75 and 2 zeros plus 20 x2. So 20 into 150, 15 into 2, 30 and 2 zeros. So it is 10,500. So value of z at f is 10,500. Then we go to c. At c, x1 is 300. And c is on the axis horizontal axis so x2 is 0 so put value in z 50 x1 so 50 into 300 so that is 15000 plus 20 into 0 is 0 so z is 15000 and then last point is a a x1 is 600 it is on the axis, so x2 is 0. Substitute in z. 50x1, so 50 into 600, so that is 30,000 plus 20x2, so 20 into 0 is 0. So the value of z is 30,000. Now our corner point table is complete. And now we want to find the optimal answer. Now the optimal answer, if you see, our objective function is min z, so it is minimization. So we should select the lowest value. So if you see the value of z, the lowest value is 10,500. So this is our optimal answer at point f. And this is our solution. And these are the values of x1 and x2. So now we can write our final answer. So we can write here optimal solution. x1 equal to 150 units 
x2 is also equal to 150 units and the value of mean z is 10,500 ok so now our final solution is over this is the last final solution